Hi there. Now we've got a letter here. Ignore the EDF symbol. Um, from a Laura Smythe, who says, Dear Mike, my name is Laura, and I'm hoping to go back and do a uh, business management and Urdu degree at the University of Lincoln. That's nice. I'm hoping one day to move to India in order to learn all about the business system over there. However, it's getting close to Christmas and I'm rather concerned that despite our colonial efforts, um, the people of India haven't accepted our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ into their heart. Um, what I want before I go is to make sure that I feel super Christmassy. Do you know any new Christmas songs? Well, Laura, it's lucky for you. I know a couple. Unfortunately, some of them um, are very limited edition. You probably wouldn't like. But what I'm going to do is have a little listen right now to one by your friend of mine, the man with a face like Jim Carrey's balls, like Robbie Williams, and his good friend, the musical icon, Tyson Fury. So let's have a little listen. Now, I've already been implored to forget everything that I've heard and to sing along, um, neither of which I'm going to be able to do. It's nice that noted alcoholic Robbie Williams is singing about uh, getting on the beers. This is worrying. A man with noted substance abuse problems and a man who gets punched in the face for a living. Um, imploring us to get off our face. We don't have a bad Sharon at the office either. Friends, friends, friends. Just beautiful. As sure as your face hits the floor. And why do they keep calling me a sad sack? stop here and note that um, the nice picture is uh, boxing gloves on a Christmas tree. Nothing says happiness or love or uh, the baby Jesus more than uh, boxing gloves. Just in time for open sign. How long's this party? Can't believe it's Christmas. Who Tyson? Who? Oh Santa! Didn't see that coming. Santa's on his way with the presents on his sleigh. Um, I'm assuming that this was written by Robbie and Tyson themselves because that kind of beauty um, can't just come from anyone. I'm a, a bit confused because they've just told us to get to bed before Santa flies away. Um, you're supposed to be in bed before Santa arrives, but also they're talking about the premise of this song. It's quite complicated. Is um, getting drunk and 
presumably having some sort of fling with bad Sharon from the office. Um, now, either that means they're adults that believe in Father Christmas, which is perfectly reasonable, or um, that they're children who've been forced into work and have turned to drink um, and inappropriate sexual relations with... I don't, maybe Sharon is another child. I don't know. I don't want to speculate and I don't want to accuse um, Robbie Williams and Tyson Fury, two men of excellent repute of um, anything untoward. But this song does throw up a lot of questions rather than answers. In this song, I've been called a fool, a sleepy doss head, and um, a sad sack. Me neither, Tyson. That's not Santa Tyson. Just been punched in the face over and over again. And now you deserve it more than ever. Oh. It's over. Um, not the song, I mean the concept of Christmas is dead, obsolete. Um, I think the only thing to be done now is to um, completely remove it from the calendar and treat the 25th of December like a normal day. Um, so maybe Robbie and Tyson have done us a favour there with uh, you know, saving a bit of money and getting people to work harder. Um, but yeah, so uh, so there you go. I've listened to that song um, so nobody else has to. Um, I feel more depressed now than I have at any point in 2019. Um, so it's nice to know what rock bottom actually is. Um, I will never complain about Lonely This Christmas by Mud again. Um, Comparatively, it is. Um, it has the worth of the entire of Forever Changes by Love as a piece of uh, music. Um, I'm more than happy now to listen to the Mr. Bobby song, um, unironically, um, and maybe experiment with um, pouring bleach in my ears. Um, so there you go. There's a little Christmas update for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, Merry Christmas, Sad Sacks. <laughs>